you guys should use this more. In Roblox Studio, there is a command bar, and so basically you can run commands in your game in Studio without actually having to load up your game in certain scenarios. So by using this command bar and the line of code I'm going to show you guys, you guys can save lots and lots of time by testing your functions and different stuff that you guys like tested and printed. And so this command is print load string and then we also need our script. So I'm going to insert a script and service script service and I'm not going to edit. I'm going to go back to our command line and so we have load string. I'm going to say game dot service script service and I'm going to get our script and then I'm going to say dot source and outside of here I'm going to basically call that by having these extra brackets and so if you guys can see where I'm going with this when we run this by pressing enter in the output we have hello world so basically we can run code and loops and different functions like that just by testing it in actual studio but it's studio without actually having to head into your game and test it and having to load up everything so it saves a lot of time so let's say you wanted to test a loop or something like that well we're going to make a for loop so for i is equal to 1 comma 10 comma 1 uh, do and we're just going to print i if that you just wanted to test something and see what a function would return or something like that you can open up your output again and there we go it, it counts all the way up to 10 it just saves a lot of time you can you guys probably understand my point you can just see what something gives us uh, like right away just by using that command and so in a recent video I made a factorial function that you guys can use in Roblox Studio this is just one of the many things you can uh, use this command line for this uh, line of code because then you can just simply test uh, a output of something so like if we print factorial and get the factorial 5 and see what it is bam just like that we have the factorial 5 which is 120 and we don't actually have to go into our game and test it open up the output and you know it's used for stuff like this just simple functions math functions different stuff like that and so if you guys don't actually know what's going on in the line of code that's making it do this well I am going to put this here and we have our command line code right here so what's going on is we are printing to the output right very simple just printing uh, information and then we have load string and what load string does is it returns code as a function that can be executed right so we are getting the source of the script which is basically you know the code inside of it and we're putting it inside of load string which returns as a function which we can then then call and when we call it and then prints what we get from that function so it's very simple it's kind of basic -y, but a little bit more advanced in some ways and I can provide more things and functions with you guys that may or may not be helpful to you and I don't really know if you guys actually realize the potential of this line of code and the information that we can get from it but it is very useful there's so many different things you can use uh, to save your time and even just running a simple function and seeing what we get from it can save you so much more time and can even tie into debugging and another use case of this is if you have something like pet simulator and loot boxes so if you have like a luck uh, weighted chance system you can use this uh, line of code and everything like that to actually see the chances and run through them to see what you get every time you roll so you can look at your chances see what you get so you could see like oh I get a legendary every this amount of rolls and stuff like that okay so I have this random item module to further prove what I just said if I come down here and say print random item and then I say dot choose and I send in my items table and then I look at my output and I keep pressing this well I got a cat that is because it is the well one of the most common in this table because I have four pets like it is in pet simulator so cat 
cat, cat, and I can keep looking at my chances. Oh, I got a dog, few dogs, but cat, you know, maybe I'm getting cat a little bit too much. Maybe I could change this to six or five or something, and I can keep seeing what I got. Oh, I got a spider, dog, cat, cat, and it's a little bit more balanced. I can see, and if I keep going, I will see that I am not getting a huge cat because it is rare. So that is probably how I want it. You can't really get a huge cat because it is a 0 0.01 chance. Oh, there I got a huge cat. Maybe I got a little bit lucky. You know, it's just makes stuff a lot simpler to test and can save so many lives if you guys have to manly test and see like what you get from these types of systems. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did get a useful case from this line of code and the command bar or if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace